Hi guys, how's it going? Um, today I thought I'd make a quick tutorial showing you how to import your items, your sold items, into Hermes. Sorry. Um, there was a uh, Chris, a subscriber of mine, commented on a YouTube video, on one of my videos, um, asking like me to show you how to do your eBay listings, like fill out all the details and stuff like that. And uh, I am going to do that, but one of the reasons he wanted me to show him how to do it, and also on the Facebook group, I noticed someone else uh, post like asking how to speed up your listing time and stuff like that. Um, I am going to make a tutorial for that. Um, I've got a backlog of items to go through today, so uh, like I went out to a car boot sale over the weekend and that. So um, yeah, I'm listing all them today. Um, and then I'm going to be making that tutorial either tomorrow or within the next couple of days anyways. Um, as I said, I've got loads of items to be listing, so while I'm listed, I might as well make a quick video um, showing you how I do it and stuff like that. So, But uh, this tutorial is basically how to import your items into Hermes. Now, Hermes, people are always like, what courier do you use? Um, Royal Mail, Hermes, Yodel, TNT, and so on, so on. Um, me personally, I prefer Hermes. Um, the first two times I used them, I tried using the um, collection, like uh, courier collection service that they offer. You basically pay an extra 20p on top of the total price, and a courier will come to your door and collect it. Um, both both times I tried using that, the courier failed to arrive the same day. Uh, luckily enough, the both the buyers were. More than understanding, um, they could understand it wasn't my fault. I kept them up to date with what was going on, so uh, yeah, luckily enough, uh, I didn't get no negative feedback or anything like that for it. So uh, yeah, but after them two times, I decided to use the uh, parcel shop option, um, which is they've got loads of different shops all over all over the UK. Um, these could be something like One Stop, uh, Martin Shop, uh, local like small shops, basically. Um, and you literally just go in there, they scan it, you sign on the machine, and uh, they give you a receipt. So uh, it's nice. It's nice. It's nice to have them options. Um, the other main reason that I use it is it gives you free tracking. Um, if I jump over to my eBay quickly, uh, let's find one that I've got here. You literally click that, and then open that up, and. Uh, when it loads, as you can see, so like literally, it tells you when it's been dropped off at the parcel shop, when it's sorted at the national hub, all the way down to when the uh, buyer received it. Basically, um, you don't get the signature for free. That's an extra pound, but um, I never bother with that. I mean, that's to me, all of that there is proof enough to eBay and PayPal that I sent the item, that they received it, and uh, yeah, helps me with um, appealing any defects for item not to delivered or something like that um, and it has actually come in handy in the past as well someone tried to state in the uh, item wasn't delivered and I had a look at the tracking and it clearly was so uh, yeah eBay went with me on that one which is pretty surprising um, so yeah like obviously you've got your free tracking um, options to have them come to you and so on and even though they're not like a big big company like everyone knows about them they're fairly well I don't know how old they are but I hadn't heard of Hermes before I started doing eBay, so um, yeah, um, they're they're fairly competitive on their prices. I mean, if I click on our services quickly, again when it loads. <laughs> Sorry, guys, my internet's being slow. Here we go. So, yeah, uh, between naught to one key, you're looking at two pound thirty two excluding VAT. In total, it is two pound seventy eight. Uh, one to two keys, three seventy eight. Five, uh, two to five keys, five twenty eight. Five to ten keys, seven twenty eight, and so on. Um, obviously they're slightly more expensive than um Royal Mail for the naught to one key. I mean, if the item goes a little small letter or a large letter, then definitely go for a Royal Mail. Um, but if you like me and just sell a lot of Haynes manuals and stuff like that, obviously LA ain't gonna go as um large letters or anything like that. So. Uh, some people may choose to go with Royal Mail on them, but me personally, I prefer paying that little bit extra just for the tracking and yeah, 
um, it helps helps you out with when it comes to eBay with items not uh, not arrived and stuff like that. So, but anyways, yes, right on with the show. Uh, to import your items, obviously you've got to log into your Hermes and you'll end up landing on the home page. Click the send a parcel. And then on the next page, click import shipments. And then you've got this page. Um, obviously, as you can see, you've got Amazon, uh, Channel Advisor, Shopify, Limworks, and the CSV file. Um, for those of you that prefer using the CSV file, um, i.e. an Excel spreadsheet or a uh, notepad document that's tab delaminated or what if delaminated or something like that, yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, uh, you've got this option. Now, if you hover over the settings cog, um, you've got download template. Click that, and the template downloads, and obviously it downloads the uh, template, and then you just open it up in your Excel spreadsheet. Uh, yeah, Excel, Microsoft Excel, and um, fill out the details, and then click get started and upload. Um, Amazon, Channel Advisor, are Shopify, and Limworks are all the uh, pretty much the same as importing through eBay but um, yeah obviously first time use you're gonna click import your parcels and they're gonna tell you that you're you've not got a uh, eBay account linked um, so just obviously follow the on-screen instructions and yeah you'll have it linked in no time you'll uh, open up it'll open up a new tab basically where you have to authorize the app to use your eBay account this is done on the eBay website um, it's, it's straightforward guys honestly so yeah but as you can see once you've got your account linked when you click import shipments it's gonna import your shipments from eBay um, and as you can see I've got two here uh, if you click import older orders as well you can set a date how far back you want to go and stuff like that but for the time being you don't have to do that like if you uh, send on a daily basis then uh, yeah just don't bother with that and as you can see, well yeah it's got from the 6th to the 8th even as well so if you send, send same day to two days um, you can leave it basically <coughs> but anyways yeah um, right first thing that you need to be doing is clicking edit and for the time being, even though I've blurred all these details out, obviously, for the buyer's confidentiality and that, um, you've got their first name, last name, email address, telephone number, um, the full address, the postcode, parcel contents, parcel value, delivery reference, and the parcel weight. Now, I've, I've checked all of these details on eBay time and time again, and eBay have always, uh, Hermes have always got the name and address and everything else spot on the only thing you have to change is the parcel weight so for instance um, the default is one to two key both of these items I'm sending send today are under one key so um, I'll literally just come in click that uh, set it to one key like that and then click save and then again on the next one literally parcel weight under one key save done um, obviously you go through that like make sure you get the items correct the weights um, I've been charged I think it was four pound by Hermes in the past before for sending a uh, 1.3 key item I think it was as a under one key <laughs> I didn't bother weighing it and yeah I got slapped on the wrist for that so uh, yeah just obviously if you're unsure about a weight then just weigh it and then obviously just set all that up so next what you want to do is pay for all imported now and it's going to t give you your sum total it's going to give you all the details so the reference number the postcode everything to do with the item including what it is uh what weight selection the prices and everything over here as well on the right um and then how much the order comes to in total so uh, it also i think you could probably print this page out i've not looked into that one uh two six bear with us yeah there you go print google chrome users click your menu click print and you can print the page out so thank for your uh, tax returns at the end of the year so I'm actually oh, my printer's not plugged in okay I'll uh, do that for next time yeah <laughs> anyways right so all you've got to do is just click these and they're basically just stating I confirm that all the parcel weights are correct and understand that if any parcel in this order is too heavy I may be charged for the price difference plus an administration fee um, 
so obviously as I just said yeah make sure you weigh your items and I have read and agreed to your standard terms and conditions of carriage um, read that if you want it basically just states what they do don't do um, fines that you'll endure incur and stuff like that so yeah um, so next pay with credit card debit card or PayPal I prefer paying with PayPal so click PayPal excuse me obviously if you pay with bank um, click pay with bank fill out the details and that on the next page um, yeah and you're good to go so excuse me All right, yeah so PayPal page um, obviously click now pay now even and then on the next page you probably will have to log in again internet running slow Oh dear, what is going on with this today? Here we go. Oh, I didn't have to log in, but yeah, if you have to log in, log in. Um, and then last thing is obviously you should recognise this page by now. Email labels, print labels, go to shipment summary page, whatever. Um, do whatever options, the one that you want to choose, basically. Uh, I don't email the labels because obviously I'm on, on my work computer so uh, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and click print labels and then it literally opens up a new tab for you this tab can be a bit slow at times so, uh, with the way my internet's been today we may be here for a while guys um, but yeah literally oh bloody hell that was quick yeah so there you go guys there's my orders again sorry about the blurring and that but I don't want no one turning up on my door and I'm sure me buyer don't um, but literally, scroll down to the bottom right, that little bit there appear. If I leave my mouse there for a minute, it should disappear. There you go. And then click or move, and it'll come back up. And then just click that one to the far right, little printer right option, on the next page. Wait for it to um, all load up. It's not going to detect my printer because it's not plugged in. Um, or it has even, but it won't print nothing out. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in after I've made this. Um, but yeah, obviously just click print and then label them up, send them out. Um, last thing, which I absolutely love about eBay, is this. As you can see, right, these are the two orders here. Um, now while I've blocked out the name, I'm going to leave the tracking number unblocked for you. So if I give it a quick refresh, scroll all the way down and then go to the items that are sold at the very bottom oh I've completely missed them where are we back up here we go as you can see there is now tracking numbers there for each item so it's automatically marked it as dispatched and it has automatically um, provided the tracking number so all you do is click it again click that opens up a new tab and there you go you can track all of your details and you're happy I'm happy eBay's happy and PayPal's happy so um, hopefully the buyer remains happy and your account remains in good standing um, as you can see awaiting courier pickup or parcel drop off so obviously it's stating to the buyer I've just purchased the postage um, and the items not been collected yet at the courier shop parcel shop even um, I don't normally drop mine off till around three o'clock uh, I know my Hermes guy gets there around one o'clock, so I don't. They ain't going to be picked up by the courier today. I mean, if I wanted to provide, provide an exceptional um, delivery option, then I could, I suppose, go drop them off now. It's twenty to twelve, so I've got an hour and twenty minutes um, to wrap them up, send them out. But unfortunately for these people, that's not going to happen because I've got items to be listing, and. Um, yeah, they're just going to have to wait. I mean, Hermes normally take three to four days, maximum of a five day. Like on their site, it does state three to five working days. Um, if I was to go drop these off today, before one o'clock, chances are, are they would get there. Um, today's Monday. They'd get there by Wednesday. Um, so, in theory, unlike Royal Mail, it is literally three days from the day the courier collects it at the shop so where my courier is going to collect it tomorrow they'll get there Thursday so to the buyer it's like a four day waiting time um, so yeah but anyways enough of the rambling um, that's it for this video 
I hope it helps you. I hope it shows you how quick it can be. Um, obviously, if you have, if you're like a power seller or something like that, um, you're gonna have items coming out all going out all day, every day. Um, and this this feature, it's great. Um, I absolutely love it. I think it's perfect. Um, literally, a few clicks of a button, all of your items are imported, updated on eBay. You've got your labels, all paid for it in one go. It's it's yeah, it's easy, it's quick. So um yeah guys, that's one way of speeding up your uh, eBay business. Um as I said, I'm gonna make the next tutorial uh probably end up doing it today to be honest with you. I mean, looking behind me I've got just quickly one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, I've got a good 20 to 30 items roughly to list um i've got a bag full of items a sh few shelves full of items and everything else um <coughs> a camera um yeah so yeah i'm gonna leave you to it guys <laughs> and drink my coffee and go and start listing um i hope you find it useful i hope it helps you speed up things and uh gives you a bit more time through the day to muck around um yeah guys Cheers for watching and I shall see you later. Bye.